Let's do a guided meditation. If you're ever going to learn to do anything in life, it should be to relax. Relax your brain, nervous system, and your body. Okay? So let's take a deep breath in our nose, out our mouth, softly and slowly. Let's do it one more time and exhale completely this time. Now, like we've done in the past, let's just inhale regularly in our nose, softly and slowly. But, you know, Actually, not too slowly, actually. And then exhale very slowly. You should be exhaling three, four, five times the amount that you are inhaling. Okay? So just at your own speed, do this continuously as I talk, okay? Keep going. Just keep going. Nice and slowly exhale. Just relax. Relax your body. Take out all the tension in your body. Take out all the tension in your brain. As you do this breathing, you can even exhale out the tension. You could even see smoke and negativity coming out. Relax your brain, relax your face, relax your neck, relax your shoulders, relax your upper arms, lower arms and hands, relax your chest, relax your back, upper and lower, relax your stomach, relax your butt and thighs, relax your lower legs and your feet. Keep exhaling slowly and softly and just know that You feel better and you're more connected to reality when you zoom out. Zoom out, detach. Detach to your reality. Detach to your ego's reality. Detach from all the little issues and problems you're always thinking about. You are not human, you are consciousness. You are not just an animal, although you are too, but you are consciousness. You are also angelic in that sense. The more you zoom out reality from the ego's perspective, it becomes small. The problems of your life become smaller. And just like we did before, you can make even the earth getting smaller. You're zooming out, you're zooming away. The problems of humanity are getting smaller. We are just humans pretending, pretending to not be consciousness. not pretending not to be a direct connection, direct connection to God or universal consciousness. This is all just to play, to feel something, to experience something so that we can collectively 
try to grow and understand what this is all about. Feel love for everyone. Feel love for all of your friends and family. We're all having a unique experience with unique suffering. But it's just stories. It's all just stories. If you had a different life, you would have completely different stories. You'd have completely different things that you would be worried about or afraid of. We all live in our own universe, each one of us. So love yourself as well. Have compassion for all the struggles, issues, fears you have, small and large. Have compassion for yourself. See yourself as a little child that's suffering. In fact, you are. You are a separate little child that is unhealed within you. But the adult you wants to shove that child into a dark room and lock the door. No wonder you're conflicted because the inner child in you is sad that you have abandoned it. See yourself opening that door, unlock a door, open that door and see that inner child in that dark room. Many inner childs, it's you as a child. Now, regardless what that inner child looks like, regardless what that inner child is doing to you, do not react, do not get triggered. Bring that child or children that look like you out of the room. Guide them out. No matter what's happening, just guide them out of the room. And if they don't go out of the room, then that's fine too. But feel love for them. Radiate love out of your heart to them. If if they are, I don't know, something else, maybe convert them to child versions of you that are sad or whatever. And I want you to hug them all. Pick them up if need be and hug them. Talk to them. What do you have to say to them or to him or her? Talk to them, say that. You love them. You apologize for whatever you want to apologize for. And that you will never abandon them again. See them change. See their facial expressions changing. And feel that love for them. Love always removes all issues. Love removes all mistakes. It is the great equalizer. That love which is, in this case, forgiveness on both sides and empathy. Now, after you've done all that at your own pace, <clears throat> whenever you're ready, have those children fly into your heart. Integrate them within your heart. We Reunited through love and forgiveness and understanding and feel them in your heart. They have now become your heart. They have now integrated.
within you completely. They are now one with you consciously. And you are now a more whole human being. Okay, well that, I was not, I mean, I've done stuff like that before personally, but I wasn't expecting that to happen. <clears throat> Which is good, because I didn't want it to be exactly like last time, so it was like a um, inner child work guided meditation this time. I hope this was helpful. Do these sort of things, even the breathing exercise at least, every day, once a week. Put reminders for at least the breathing exercise. You know, a few minutes a day, five minutes a day, or whatnot. And of course, nothing wrong with loving yourself more every day. Peace.